Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we're going to take a look at the select list. This is where you'll identify the columns you want to return from tables, but it can also be used for things like expressions, function calls, and subqueries. The asterisk is a wildcard. Using this in the select list is like saying, bring me back all the columns that are visible in the table. You'll often hear people using the expression select star, and this is what they mean. When we execute the statement, we see all the columns from the table. The wildcard can also be used for multiple tables in the select list. In this case, we've got two tables joined together, and we've given them both aliases and used those aliases in the select list. When we execute the query, we get all the columns from both tables. In many cases, we'd avoid wildcards and specify the columns by name. In this case, we're just pulling out two columns from the table, employee ID and employee name. On executing the query, we can see only the columns named in the select list are returned. We can alter the name of the column returned in the result set using a column alias. In this case, we've got two different types. The first one isn't case sensitive, but the second one using double quotes forces the case of the column name. We can see from the output the column names have changed. Using table aliases makes it a lot easier to see where the columns have come from. Here we can see the columns from the employees table and the departments table. Table aliases also help prevent ambiguous references to columns. In this case, both tables have a column called department ID, but we can clearly see which one we want the data returned from. We can see from the output, the table alias is not included as part of the column name. So if you need any indication of the table where the column came from, you'll need to use a column alias. Some people prefer to fully qualify all columns using the table name and the column name together. That's okay for small table names, but I think it quickly gets quite ugly when you're using large table names. As with the table alias, using the full table name doesn't have an impact on the name of the column in the output. The select list can also include function calls. Here we've used the upper function to convert text into uppercase. We can also use a variety of expressions, including mathematical operations. In this example, we're using a scalar subquery to return a value for a column. A scalar subquery returns a single row of a single column or object. This should give you some idea of the type of things you'll see in the select list of a query. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it, and click subscribe if you want to see more.